So here we have the pull start off the 1971 Ski Whiz. First thing is this thing is held on by four screws right there. And interestingly, these little cogs here, they have a little weird screw unit in them with a cat little spring with a cap on each end, like that. And it looks like the nippled side is up and the flat side is down. So make sure you get that right. You can see the configuration of these things. They're on this little post. The jaw comes into the middle like that on both sides. Oops, that one's off the thing. It looks like with these little uh, cog things, the slightly rounded side is up. This more flush surface is down. Next, this plate, which has also got the four holes, comes just straight up and off. Was on this way. I see a lot of rust down in here. Well, I got the recoil out, the cable. It's actually a steel cable. And uh, this little thing on the end of the, uh, on the cable actually goes fit into this, that little hole right there, like that, like that. So here's the, uh, the pull, the handle on the pull start. This white thing was in the bottom here. Like that, of course, this cable went through there. Then in the top here, we had this thing here, and I believe it was the the rounded side down, and then the cable comes up and does a turn around that, and that you drive into the top of that thing, and that whole thing gets pulled by the cable into there. And the steel cable comes out of the steel cable comes out of this groove here into the thing, and it comes like this way. So it's being wrapped around there like that. Well, here's the damage. <laughs> Fairly extensive. Notice that the outer retaining clip there, the spring goes this way which is counterclockwise. The inner retaining clip, which is broken here, it appears to, or it appears to go inside this groove here, this groove here, and the round part sits in that little hole there. Um, so that's how, and the, this goes face down with that. This thing was hard to, I thought it was hard to get out, but I just grabbed the fins here and wiggled it eventually. It took me a bunch of prying and everything, but it's got a nice flesh, flush fit uh, on here. So just as a reminder, this is the hole here where the inner end of the spring um, is visible so that you can put a punch down there to guide the spring when you stick this thing back down. Just a reminder that this small end, the inner end of the spring, is going to go into this thing here, which has got a guide hole in the top here, this side here, although it's going to be over there. Um, and the other end goes on this post here. Spins around, wound around in there.